Lone body disc exclusion is quite scary, but up to 65% of the patient can recover and reabsorb without surgery. In this video, I'm going to share with you a series of easy but very effective exercises to follow if you're suffering from lumbar disc exclusion. At the end of this video, I'm going to share with you very important tips and a strategy for you to recover. Make sure to watch the video until the end, follow those steps, and if you have any questions, leave me a comment. First exercise that we're gonna do guys in this routine is gonna be a warm up basically for us to just get some flexion and extension in our back. Now cat cow or cat camel, whatever you like to call it, your hands on the knee of your shoulder, your knees on the knee of the hip, you gotta go basically to a flexion which means get your spine to flex and then you're gonna relax it to get that extension. This movement should be done gently control, you're breathing in and out, and initially when you're doing this movement, it might not be very comfortable to get the same range as much as that I get. You go within a range that feels comfortable. Breathe in and out, control, and back down. Try this exercise for three sets of eight to 10 repetition. If you find one kind of like range feels better, stick to that range and gradually progress that. The following move that we're gonna try is gonna be bear dog. Now, to break down bear dog to easy version and more kind of advanced, we start with kickback. We're trying to keep the core engaged, hands on the knee of your shoulder, knee, shoulder beat apart, keep the back nice and tall. We're gonna go for a single leg kickback. You're trying to maintain the back straight you're gonna go for five on either side. Change legs, breathe in and out. Control. Now, when you got more comfortable with this, we try to add on opposite arm, opposite leg goes up at the same time. Your goal is to maintain that stability in your lumbar spine. When you got comfortable, switch side. Breathe in and out. Slow tempo. Go within a range that feels comfortable for three sets of five on either side. Following move is gonna be back extension or mini push-ups. The initial phase is just to get your elbows underneath of your body and be, be in this position. You have already a, a bit of extension there. Now make sure if in your report of your MRI mentioned that you have extrusion plus spinal stenosis, you don't want to do this exercise because that can aggravate your pain. The initial phase is just the elbow underneath the shoulder, then you go down. If you can hold it a little bit longer, you're going to progress it to a mini push-up, which means bring the arms very close to the shoulder, relax the back. You want to use the arms to push you up. Slow back down, back up again. We're in a comfortable range, hold it there for three to five seconds. Back down. You go all the way up to the point that your hip is still on the ground. Back down, practice this three to four repetition for three to five sets. All the way up and Roll back. The following move is going to be hip drops. Keep the feet together, keep knee bended. We're going to go to side. You can get a crack even in the lower back. The goal is to just get a bit of nice stretch around the hip and the lower back. You can hold it there as five to 10 seconds, but the goal is more to get that mobility, which means you want to move them. Breathe in and out. One side might be a little bit tighter than the other side. That's normal. Everything is relaxed. When you got more range, more comfortable, you can hold it a little bit longer. And this can be done in bed. All of this exercise can be done in bed, which means as soon as you wake up in the morning, try these, and that can maximize your movement, improve your pain, increase your mobility. 
following move is going to be dead bug, but to get to dead bug, you want to make sure that we have the right posture of your low back. Your low back, there's a gap here. You want to really fill that gap by posteriorly tilting your hip. Now, when you got that control and you can gain that control and filling this gap, we're going to progress this to dead bug, which means your knees are off the ground, 90 degrees, hands straight. You want to maintain that pressure on the lower back while you're breathing in and out. Hands there, the first phase is to tap the heel while you're maintaining that pressure for, let's say, five rounds. Control. If you can't go too far, you can go here and come back up. That's totally fine. You can change legs. Breathe in and out. And keep that tension. Now, when you got more comfortable with this, more coordinated, you can try both arms and legs at the same time in one side. Breathing is essential. Maintaining that pressure. Try this for, let's say, three sets of five in each side. First tips that I would like to share with you guys is to have a routine. Having a routine and following the same thing every single day while you're suffering from lumbar disc extrusion can give you a metric that what you are able to do. I give you an example. If you're able to walk 5,000 steps and you do it every single day, it is very easy for you to understand I'm able to do 5,000 without causing any flare-up. In comparison, if you do 5,000 one day and another day 7,000, the next day 10,000, you may get sore, but you do not know what would be your capacity. It's quite confusing. I would highly suggest all of my patients to track their daily activity, such as how much they walk, how much they do, daily shopping, driving, sitting. All of these factors can accumulate at the end of the day and can impact your recovery. Track those steps track those activity and you can see the difference. The second tips that I would like to share with you guys is to improve your diet. Diet can hugely impact your recovery. I'm going to share with you two simple tips to improve your diet and these are very practical and simply applicable. The first tip is to cut down on sugar and salt. And simply by cutting down on sugar and salt, you can maximize your recovery. The next thing that you can Add on to your diet in regards to your diet is to maximizing your protein intake. Lean protein intake can be hugely beneficial for you while you're suffering from lumbar disc extrusion because protein is the building block of our body and by adding more lean protein into your diet, you can maximize your body recovery. By eating more protein, you can get more saturated and minimize the chances of snacking on sugar or salty snacks. The next tips that I would like to share with you guys is aerobic exercise. Many of you guys asking me, can I walk, should I walk, should I bike, should I swim? And simply by adding some sort of aerobic exercise into your routine, it can hugely help you with your recovery. The type of aerobic exercise, it doesn't really matter. You have to find out what type of aerobic you can do. For some people, walking can hugely aggravate their symptoms and I would suggest them to stick to stationary bike or swimming. How much of aerobic exercise should be done daily? It depends on to in each individual. I would always start my patient with five minutes and try to see how your body responds in the next few days by doing that activity. If you felt good, you can gradually build up that to seven and 10 minutes in the following weeks. The last tips that I would like to share with you guys in this video is to improve your stress level. Stress can be a very big risk factor for pain and agitating your pain. And if you're suffering from lumbar disc extrusion, I always suggest my patient to first measure their daily stress level from zero to 10 and find out how stressed they are. Without knowing that, you may not, not really have a plan to make it better and then Find out what are the things that can help you to relax. It can be sometimes meditation, going to nature, listening to some good music, spending some time with friends and family who loves you. If I had a bonus tips for you to maximize your recovery is to be very consistent with the exercise that I share with you in this video. 
try these exercises daily two to three times. If you find this video helpful, I would love to hear from you. Please leave me a comments and let me know how you're getting on. Beside that, please, please, please share this video with your friends and family who may need this video. Make sure to subscribe my channel for my weekly update and don't forget to press that like button. I really appreciate your help. Until next week, all the best.